that sounds so real, I wouldn't want to break into this house. Hi, and welcome back to the Home Automation X channel. You probably remember a video that we released a couple months ago on a smart home tour. Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your smart home security, but all I ask you to do is to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to stay notified. So if you were to ask any police officer what their job entails, they would say that it's to react to a crime, to investigate it, and to solve it. I'm gonna be showing you guys two ways you can prevent all of that and they're also inexpensive. In our first solution, we're gonna show you how to monitor your home with sensors, sirens, and barking dogs. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the total cost of doing it yourself. First, we'll start off with the barking dogs. People say that having a dog at home is the best deterrence to avoid breaking in. This is the next best method. We use our SmartThings hub to control all of our devices through the SmartThings app. I'm going to go over all of this very quickly. If you guys want to go ahead and pause it and rewatch it, feel more than welcomed. Are you guys ready? We're going to click on open up our smart things app, click on automation, smart apps, add a smart app, music and sounds, speaker companion, play a notification, dog barking, on the speaker, Samsung R1, when, button pressed, doorbell, click done, and we're gonna select additional triggers, motion here, front window motion, click done, uncheck resume music currently playing after notification, click more options, Temporarily change volume to 80%. More options. Minimum time between actions is zero. Assign a name, barking dog doorbell. Then save at the top. Let's try it out. We're gonna put our motion sensor by the window and attach it with Velcro. I'm gonna go ahead and ring the doorbell. Whoa, that sounds so real. I wouldn't want to break into this house. As soon as somebody walks by, this is how it'll react. So this setup has a lot of settings, and if you guys want a dedicated video in regards to that, please leave a comment down below and we would be happy to. Leave a comment down below if you think that is cool and a great deterrent. So a barking dog is great and the hub only costs $70 along with the speaker. And if you also have a Samsung soundbar, you can use that as well. Now smart home security is very easy and inexpensive. We installed window and door sensors along with motion sensors all paired up with our SmartThings hub. We installed the window and door sensors all along the ground floor of our house. I like the Aeon rechargeable sensors. They warn you when the battery is running low and it usually lasts about a year before the battery dies. This saves you on battery costs. You can have motion sensors set up all throughout your house on every floor when you're away from your home or you can simply have it on your ground floor while your family's sleeping upstairs. I like the Aeon Siren because it has a piercing sound so I would put it in different parts of my home. Let's quickly set this up and give you a demonstration on sounding off the alarm. Remember, we're going to be going through this fairly quickly so feel free to pause and rewatch it. Looking at our dashboard from the SmartThings app, we can see that our monitoring is currently disarmed. We can arm it away and also arm it for stay. Let's click on the right arrow beside everything OK. You can see we have no current problems. Click on the gear at the top and we'll set this up. Now let's try, let's set up our security. We're going to start with armed away intrusion sensors. We can select to use every open close or motion sensor, but I'll select my own. I'll choose sensor from front door and sensor patio door. Click done. 
select our motion sensors. I'll choose living room sensor as I don't want the alarm going off when there's motion outside, right? So click next. Now we will set up armed stay intrusion sensors. This is when we are home, so we don't want our motion sensors. We'll select our sensors. I'll choose sensor from front door, sensor patio door, and click done. And we're not going to choose any motion sensors. Click next. Now we're going to now we're going to configure intrusion alarm notifications. Select text and push notifications. So I'll enable push notifications to my phone or tablet, and I'll also enter my number to receive a text message. We're going to click save, select audio notification, select our Samsung speaker, then done. I'll choose the sound I want our speaker to play, so notification. I will select barking dog so you can hear the different sounds, then click done. Under more options, I'll change the volume to 90%, which is quite loud, then save. Next, we'll choose alert with sirens. Select sirens. I'll select both of our sirens, then click done. Five minutes should be enough, then click save. Then we'll choose alert with lights. I'll select all of my lights as I want everywhere bright when the alarm goes off. Click done, then save. I want to start, I want to turn on recording of my cameras regardless if there is motion. So capture video from these cameras, select cameras. I'll choose both cameras. I'll leave it at two minutes, then save. Save again. Now we do save one more time and we are finished with security, but you can see there is smoke and leaks. We can repeat the process with our notifications, audio sounds, sirens, lights, etc. You get the picture. Let's save this and test our alarm. During the day, we'll have it disarmed and perhaps rely on the barking dog when motion happens. And during the nighttime, we'll have it set up so all the windows and doors are armed and it doesn't sense any motion. Let's test this out by opening up the door. I'm afraid this is gonna be very loud, guys. Are you guys ready? So you'll notice that the app will send you a notification as well as a text message, and the screen will go red. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on view alert, and I'm gonna mute the alarm, and I can click dismiss, because it was a false alarm, and are you sure you wanna dismiss this incident? Yes, I do. When we're in away mode, everything is armed, including the motion sensor. We can try it out again, or you guys probably get the gist of it. I don't know, I kinda wanna... So we're gonna do the alert again, and we're gonna make the alarm. And I'm gonna dismiss it because there's a false alarm, yes. This last solution is also very important because what if the intruder completely ignores the barking dogs the sirens and the sensors and breaks into your house. Let's just hope during that time, nobody's home. But this is where I'm gonna introduce the PLE network video recorder and the Wi-Fi cameras to catch your intruder red-handed. We recently did a video on these 4K cameras and the network video recorder. This saves everything locally to this device and it has awesome quality so you're able to clearly see if anybody steps foot on your property. The full video is in the description box below. However, I will share the NVR records locally 24-7 to the device and holds eight 4K cameras. It takes a few days for the video footage to wrap around, but you also have the option of using Wi-Fi cameras as long as they're on Viv compatible. The preferred method is power over Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. Speaking of Wi-Fi, if you do decide to use them, we recommend the camera, the Arlo Pro. This picks up on motion, and is wireless, so it uses a rechargeable battery in order to power it, and you can also have it plugged in 24 seven. The life of the battery depends on the usage. You get a few months worth of usage before you have to recharge the battery. You also have free cloud recording for a seven day history. However, you do have the base station, which allows you to connect a USB hard drive, and it allows you to locally record. 
Let us know what you guys think of our security setup and if you guys would like a detailed video on the barking dog. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and your family. We have more videos to our right over here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and check out our website, homeautomationx.com. We'll see you guys next time.